Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for March 13th, 2020. So today we have Kokoksa Night New Beginnings. Yay! <laughs> Can't wait for this. I was actually curious to see what card came out because I just got back from the Garden of the Gods and I was driving home and this guy was laying on his horn behind me and waving his arms around, going nuts, expecting me to go ahead and turn into oncoming traffic. And when I say oncoming traffic, I'm talking the kind where there's a car in front of me. Like there's nowhere for me to go. There's a car in front of me. <laughs> like I can't go anywhere. And he was insisting that I was going to pull out into traffic. I mean, people have really gone off the deep end here a little bit. I'm sure you guys have noticed. Uh, but this new beginning, I'm, I'm really hopeful that this is a new beginning in our, what shall we call it? Consciousness awareness. All right. Now people can say, and they do say, and it's not really an acceptable thing. Oh, well, that's just how life is. Oh, well, that's just people. We need to really stop and look at why do people behave the way they do? Why would someone behind me in a car start getting like throwing his arms around and blowing his horn for me to go when obviously there was nowhere for me to go? What makes somebody do that? Do you know what I mean? What makes people uh, fight over toilet paper? <laughs> what makes people, P.S., people do think that this is a stomach virus. I am not kidding. <laughs> I just found that out. People are, I started asking questions and asking around and people actually thought it was uh, the stomach flu. Uh, and that's at least around here. That's why a lot of people are stocking up on that stuff. Uh, but, you know, what makes people fight one another? And where can we clear that space? What might the solution be? Now, our lives are going to change. Our lives are never going to be the same. Yes, these workarounds that we have in our lives, they might be permanent. We just don't know yet. But you have a chance within you to watch your own behavior. I've actually heard spiritual practitioners, if we're going to keep with the example of the driving, um, I've, I've heard other spiritual practitioners say, oh, I can't stand slow drivers. And I get really mad and I start blowing my horn and screaming at them out my window. And it, it just, it just shocks me. I'm like, what, why are we pushing each other around? Oh, well, slow drivers are annoying. No, people who expect people not to do the speed limit, they're annoying. End of it. Comment down below. I'm right here. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But like, we, we have to start having some more consideration for one another. Where is it? Where is it? So today, just kind of use today as an experiment. Examine your own behavior. Where do you find yourself getting annoyed? Where do you find yourself, you know, getting road rage? Again, you know, just, you know, that example. Not the guy was raging. It was just, you know, he was getting frustrated. But uh, why do we think we should be pushing each other around? Why do we think we have to live defensively towards one another? Do not make excuses for your own bad behavior or other people's bad behavior. It's time for a new beginning. So let's, let's shift something within us so that we can be more compassionate. You never know what somebody else is up against. All right. So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you so much love and take care. Bye-bye.